Hi, this is Debra. Did you just notice I have two pairs of reading glasses on my head? This is what it's like to be over 60. So I just uh, thought I would do another uh, makeup tutorial. I started off with a lot of Josie Moran's Argon Oil because I put vitamin C on my face last night and it, it's already peeling. So I just use Bobbi Brown's corrector, and I swear by the time I cover up my old age spots, it covers my whole face, you know? Uh, so now I'm gonna use um, Confidence in a Compact by IT. And I also, I just ordered some more from QVC. I also put a little drop of the Argon Oil in the uh, little compact. I don't know if y'all know this, but Marilyn Monroe's makeup artist used Vaseline, which gave her that glow under the lights, you know. Yeah, after I used the corrector, I swear it's like going all over my whole face. So I didn't sleep at all last night. I mean, at all. Oh, I kept having like racing thoughts. I even put on Michael Seeley. Uh, I don't know if you know him, but he does these meditation things where he talks you to sleep. And usually that works. So I recently started on Wellbutrin because um, I had this brain fog. I don't know if it was from the Ambien because I've been on that for 10 years. So I recently started the um, the Wellbutrin. Plus, I stopped smoking on January the 1st. And um, all of a sudden, I've been wanting a cigarette. So I called my doctor and he prescribed some Ambien. So in the last three days, I've gotten more done than I have in two months. Now, I don't know if it's because I decreased um, the um, Ambien, but I want you to look at me real careful. Do you see how this eyebrow is lower than this one? I was hit by a car in the early 90s. This side of my face went through the windshield. And when they were cutting the skin in my eyebrow, he gave me a subtle eye lift. You see? Yeah, he gave me a subtle eye lift. So now when I put on my eyebrows, I got to go higher up on this one to compensate. Also, I don't know if you can see, but I haven't had any Botox in the last, I guess, three, four months. And uh, I'm getting those that little crinkling, I get like four lines right there. But I don't like the Botox anymore. I like the Dysport or Dysport. I don't know how you pronounce it. So uh, yeah, I like the Dysport because I don't get that headache for seven days. Because with, um, with the Botox, I would get this awful, annoying headache. And it just really got me down. Who needs a headache? The dye support had no um, side effect at all. And it was only, it, it started working within 24 hours. Uh, the Botox takes almost seven, almost seven days to kick in. So, uh, let me screw. So I use the um, the Mac Prep and Prime Eye Base. I like this better than the Paint Pot. Well, for one reason, I can't find the Paint Pot. But in the last two days, I don't know if it's because I got my memory back or the brain fogs lifted, but I have been finding things I didn't even know I had. I don't know if you other ladies that are over 60 have had to deal with this issue, but it's kind of scary. I mean, 
geez. Yeah, I have had, um, I had to go through a horrific divorce. Then I had 10 floods in my condo. Then I um, had an operation where um, I had a tumor in my ovaries. So then they had to give me a hysterectomy. And this is by Borges. I love it. Charmed. It's like, you never know how which way to do it. But this is like the perfect. It's like, it's, 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 um, and I think you can see it now. I don't know what you call it, like a peachy coral. I don't know. But it gives a really natural look to me. So then I had to have a right hip replacement in the middle of all these floods. So then I was staying at my ex-boyfriend's house for almost seven months because my house was uninhabitable. Uh, I had no walls or ceilings. Uh, so let's see. I kept getting mad at him and like breaking up and taking the stuff to my house. I did that three times before I realized I was being a fool. You know, I always try to give people the benefit of the doubt. I guess it's because I'm an empath. So what else could I tell you? Oh yeah, I had no sleep last night. Oh my God, that is horrible to have insomnia. I know when you're perimenopausal, you have horrible insomnia. You just lay there and you resent anybody who can uh, just go to sleep like nothing. Now I'm putting on The Candlelight by uh, Dimitri James. If you wait on Evon Live, which is a TV show, if you wait for when he has these specials, like his birthday or Christmas or holiday, you can get a lot of stuff in his packages. He'll like group a lot of, of products together. And um, yeah, he'll group them all together and you get a really nice discount. So yeah, all of a sudden I started getting my wits about me. <laughs> ah. Yeah, yesterday, sitting at work, trying to wait for the clock to move up a little bit before I clocked in, I did a video about the sneaky things guys do. Yeah, like before when you start getting ready to date them. It's quite funny. Check out the uh, my Greyhound story. A lot of people are giving me negative comments on that. Uh, also, the cat story. These are things that's happened in my life that uh, I thought was quite, well, horrendous or funny. It depends on how you look at it. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.